Okay, this is a video about my uh, grippers and stuff, grip machines and grippers, I guess you could say. All right, I'm going to start off with uh, this stuff here. This was the last one that I made. I made this with some springs. It's a little different than the other two I made. This one uh, doesn't have uh, the, the stops for that to come, so that, so that doesn't come off. This was the first one I made. I originally had a longer spring in there. Or, uh, yeah, a longer spring, and it was too loose. Then I put, uh, I took one of the spring off of, uh, one of them old sit-up, uh, things they, that, uh, that they made a while, long time back. I don't know if they still make them or not. This was here was the second one I made. I originally had one spring, garage door spring on there. And late, late, recently I put uh, two more on there, and it's for two hands. Um, when I had one spring on there, when I had I uh, used it, my uh, this here uh, scale to weigh luggage, wrapped the chain around this here, and I pulled it up all the way up to here, and it was about 50 pounds. So now, at the top there, these are 140 pound uh, springs garage doors and uh I, did, I couldn't measure it with that thing because it only goes up to 75 pounds but when i pull it up it uh feels pretty it's pretty good on there um i did uh try get mess guessing uh um it's saying at 150 pound 150 pounds but uh i got 145 on here this machine here and uh this felt like more like maybe 160 170 it's a little more is it felt a lot heavier than this here this is a machine i got a while back and uh i enjoy that machine um and this is a, a wrist roller that uh built uh with that pin in there, it's 80 pounds all together. It just uh, it wind it up with, the, with this here. It's on, uh, it's on a uh, Olympic bar that was that I cut off. I got uh, t duct tape and that rip wrapped underneath there with uh, Vaseline and soap uh, to help lubricate it. I do I put a little on there every year. Seems to hold up pretty well. And then uh, these are uh, some grippers, uh, single finger grippers. I got this is the extra extra light. Um, and then uh, and then there's the extra light, and then so on. And this is the extra heavy. Those are in my collection. I do, I do, uh, I do use these once in a while. This, is, then, uh, got some various. Uh, this is my gripper wall. I put up at um, 2015 because I had so many of them. Anyway, these are store bought ones. This here is. Um, my first pair I got in 1987, um, Christmas of 1987, and on my birthday of 98, uh, not, of 80, of 88, got these ones. This in here is a three spring one there, and I got these, and I got the extra attachments, the extra long extensions, and the pinch grip. This is a brass one. And I got this one here. It's got two springs. I got several of these adjustable ones. I've labeled all the abbreviated names on there. And then uh, these are um, the second set I bought, got of these, of these, of these two here. Um, reason there's blank spots in between is for the left-handed ones if they ever make the left-handed ones 
I left spots for them. This is uh, my the newer one. The newest ones I got are the are these ones, the the the, the in between ones. And then these were the ones I got before those, and then these are the first ones I got. The uh, I'm gonna be getting another set of those to match these ones, possibly. And then I got the, the Zenith ones, all the Zenith ones. I got uh, the Animal Hunters, I got the first one all the way to. The last one here and I got the dinosaur hunters I got uh, I got uh, some coming this one here I got that one coming in eventually and all the left-handed ones with the with the doom with the doom handles on the thicker ones on there and then uh, down all the way, they go all the way down to here and then there's the monster hunters, the green ones, and then there, and then if they ever make, uh, I labeled for the next two different sets if they make the other branches of military ones. I guess that's what you would say, I guess you can say that. And then I got up here, a bit more vin like vintage, mostly vintage ones here. These here are wood handle ones, The this one. More wood handle ones and more of these. Took a set of these. Took this here. I guess this would be a choker off of them and it made it that wide. Did the same thing with a set of those and that. Some more store bought ones. Then uh, got the scissor, silver scissor grip ones. All three, all four pair. So they got all four of them. Some more. Store bought ones and sat there, and then more of those adjustable kind, and, and them. And I got to set two of those, and then this one here I made. That one there I made, and then there's two more like that one right there that I made. Then I got another wooden one. I had to fix this one because the when I got it, the handle was falling off. I glued it back on. Then I added it to my collection. And these here, of course, are the are the tedding ones that I bought a while back. The um, whole set, all the way up to this one. And there's the GHP ones all the way up to number ten there. And then I'm eventually going to get the uh, juniors. And that's room room for those. And then these are the bear band ones and I uh left spots for the narrow ones that I don't have if they ever make those and I found that figured out that uh on those the narrow ones have the less lesser aggressive uh the lesser aggressive um knurling on them and uh the Sear 70 this is the first one is not marked narrow but I uh Held it up to a narrow one, and it's uh same distance. It's a little shorter than the regular, so I guess that might be a misprint on that. I don't know, but and it's got the lesser aggressive narrowing. And I got uh, a full set of uh, of these, similar to uh, the heavy grips. These are. Uh, left-handed ones these are probably similar to the heavy grips as well the left-handed version got the different colors i like the different colors it goes all the way up to 350 on that and then then here's the uh heavy grips they go from here to I'm not sure where i even got the uh these are bone these are supposed to be the bone crusher 400 and 500 and then below that I got um I got the uh these ones here the pit bull they go all the way up to there and I got um 
these ones here. These were on Amazon. They were called Pro Source, similar to the Heavy Grips as well. They go all the way up to here, and then these ones here were the Strongman ones, which they uh not quite the same as the Heavy Grips are marked differently. They got a whole bunch of them. They go from here to here. They go, um, that was the 100, this is like the 125, and then they got the 150 and the 175, same with the 200s, and they go all the way up to, uh, go up to the 350. Anyway, um, I think I covered all, some more vintage and store-bought grippers there. These here are two different ones. This one's got a mark on it. This one don't. I got them two different places. And I'm always looking for the ones like those. I got uh, individual store-bought ones. If I ever come across the matches for those, like I did this set here, found found this one in a uh, like a thrift store, and then I found that one there at a uh, another store. At least probably four or five months apart on that. And then uh, over here I got this one here, one of these. And then over here I did the did this with them, and they, I know these are probably these two here are probably the more ridiculous. Than this one, but uh, I made these. Took, but. Uh, this one here is a little harder than this one here. And then I got uh, one with uh, this one here is harder, a little harder than that one. But I got uh, two of them together like that. They were, uh, they were fun to make. Originally, it had the this one here and this one here made up. Then I just went to the store and bought several more of these. And then I uh, had this one, had two, this one here and this one here made up the same way, one for each hand. And they were pretty easy, so. And then I just added that one there. There. And like I said, the. These are probably the more ridiculous ones, the four and the three. Those. I can barely make this one move. That one there, I couldn't even move at all, but I don't think I could do this one, but let's see if I can. I think this one barely moves for me. Yeah. Barely move it. Anyway, and like I got all this stuff here. Of course, uh, I don't have uh, the ability to get heavier stuff, but yet I'm just looking for stuff that heavier stuff. I got a half of 50 and, I, and a half of 20, half of 40 there, and then I got the other parts here, and I just find pieces of chunks of metal that I. Anywhere I can find it, just for that. And I got various other things. I made this thing here. I uh, didn't like doing rubber bands for this, and uh, hopefully I can show you how this thing. Oh, I got this to work. Right. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully it doesn't bump my camera. But I uh, did this. I put put that there and just uh, do that. Rather than using rubber bands and and whatnot for that, and I got uh, this machine here, and then this one here as well. Got a block under there to close it up a little bit because my hands are kind of small. I guess you could say. 
anyway, that's the stuff. And then you've seen the 70 pound cement block it got uh, wrapped in tape all except this area here on both sides for uh, lifting it. And I got single ones here, which are uh, 30 or half 35 pound ones. Um, somebody asked the measurements. Uh, it says on the website that I got these. Not the, I didn't buy them at the website. I bought them at the store. But it said 3.625 or something like that. Wide here. They uh, claim to be 4 but inches. But it's less than 4. Anyway. I thank you for watching. Have a great day. Oh, I got sledgehammers too there. Got uh, six pound all the way up to twenty pound. No, nothing too special. I believe that's all I got. Oh, and I collect these. I collect stress balls. Um, I don't know where I put them actually, but but these I got too. These are the smallest ones I got. And then uh, I got the big, big, big ones too. I set the phone down here for a second. I got these big ones here as well. So that's my collection there. Um, I got the stress balls in this thing, I remember now. I got uh, a bunch of them. Anyway, that's uh, everything I got, I believe. And a lot of guys, like I've uh, mentioned it, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I've made some equipment. I like to try to make my own, a little bit, some of my own stuff for just different purposes because. A lot of stuff is a little expensive for my for my pocketbook, and well, I figure I'd try doing what I can with what I can. But I did want one of these machines here, and I did buy it. That was one thing I wanted. Wanted one of those. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope wasn't too boring. Hopefully, I covered everything. Have a great week. Take care.